we're in difficult times, this country will not move forward until Nigerians take ownership of their country. Politicians get into office and they think they own us. They think they have earned the right to tell you when to speak and when not to speak. They have earned the right to control your views and they cannot be criticized. The truth is, they don't have that right. People have said to me, your problem is you've criticized the government publicly. Many of them don't know that before I go with the public criticism, I would have spent months, maybe years, speaking in private. So when people talk about me and the whole missing money thing in the central bank, I tell them I never, I never made public the question of my suspicions of missing money. I wrote a confidential letter to the president as governor of central bank in August. I expressed my concerns and nothing happened the letter leaked after five months. It was not me who announced it. But once it was out, I had to stand by my letter and own my position. With the current administration, I spent literally the whole of 2015 and 2016 speaking to everybody who should be spoken to and telling them that the economic policies they were pursuing were going to destroy the Nigerian economy. It was only when that failed that I spoke publicly. And we had to speak. Now the question which everybody's asking is, should Amia speak? And the answer is yes. And it depends on what AMA you are and what you're speaking on. I mean, Socrates said, wise people speak because they have something to say. Stupid people speak because they have to say something. But if you have something to say, you have to say it. And I never agreed that anyone could tell me, given my background, that I was not qualified to speak on the economy. I was the chief risk officer of a bank. I was MD of a bank, I was governor of the central bank. In four of the five years that I was governor, I was best central bank governor in Africa. In one of the years, I was best central bank governor in the world. And I say, if we all go into public service and we have a record, we should be proud to point to that record. And I'm ready, anybody can look at what was the rate of inflation and demi? What was the exchange rate? What did I do with the payment systems? What did I do with the banks? And if we spent all those years putting in our best to build this country, we have a right to speak when we see other people not doing the same thing. If every president, every governor, every minister, every commissioner took his job seriously, this country would not be where it was. But if people are willing to be ministers and commissioners and governors and presidents for eight years and not tell us how they have improved our lives, we have a problem. And we have to tell them that that is not why they were put in office. So. We do have challenges. My own position was no position would stop me from expressing my views. Amir, non Amir, Khalifa, non Khalifa, governor, no governor, it does not matter. We have to continue speaking up for this country and we have to continue asking politicians to do the right thing. 
and for the politicians. Seven years ago, people thought they had eight years. Then they had four years. Now we're talking about how many months? Maybe, maybe some of them will soon realize that even the power they had and the position they had was temporary. In a few years, in a few months, in one year, many of those people will be out on the streets here. They will not... They, they wouldn't have the office. They wouldn't have the power. And the only thing that is left is the record. What did you do when you were there? And if all you can point to is that you harass people and oppress people and, well, that's fine if that's what you want for yourself. 